Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity Evolve Skyblock. How are you doing today? I hope you're well. I am. We are here. I feel a lot better after last episode. Last episode, man, we struggled. But the good news is, is we are stocking up on the uranium. I am happy about that. Slowly but surely, we are getting what we need here. Uh, as you can see, I do have my hazmat suit. I'm going to take that off. We don't need it right now. I don't think I got anything on me new. No. So today, we are stepping away from that. I have got a ton of crafting to do before we can get into uh, our nuclear reactor. I've got this thing going basically non-stop. Um, we are killing the power. That's alright. We got a lot to go through. Um, so, but today we are going to get into another mod that I have not messed with. And that is witchery. Um, we've got to get to the point of getting uh, this thing right here. Uh, this has um, holding us back from blood magic. Um, and doing a couple of other things. Um, so I'm trying to get, like I said, I've been trying to work on getting all the mods, all the magic mods at least started. So we don't have to work at all of them at one time when we get to the point of doing it. I figure while we've got everything else kind of slowly churning and burning and doing all of our resource gathering and stuff like that, we can get some of this stuff knocked out of the way too. So, to start with witchery, you need these water artichokes. You need these water artichoke seeds. Now, to get those... All you gotta do is bone mill the grass. And then pray. Um, I spent, I don't know, 30 minutes to get one. The only witchery, the only witchery seeds that you can get that way is these and then the wolfbane seeds, which I don't even know what the wolfbane seeds are even for. Ah, I'm making witch hunter boots. So, that is that. So, but to get to the rest of them, um, basically, crossbreed water artichoke with just wheat gives you the mandrake. Mandrake and the water artichoke gives you the belladonna. The belladonna and the mandrake gives you the snow bell. And this is what you get from each of them. We're going to need quite a bit of this stuff before it's all done and over with. So, First things we need to make is this witch's oven. And this is where we're going to get into some fun stuff. Uh, first off, alchemical furnace. This is part of was part of going through our Thaumonomicon in order to get to that point. I have no idea where this thing is at. Alchemy. Um, you start off, you gotta learn the niter, the al well, I think you just one, I don't know if you gotta learn both of them to get this one unlocked, but this is where your alchemical furnace is. So we've got to make these stone blocks, which are not really that hard to do. I don't know, do I have any shards left? I do have some shards left. We're gonna need quite a few of these. And I believe I already have I've already got us a new platform set up over there. We're going to have animals all over the place. Uh, that's going to be our witchery setup. Living rock. And we are also going to need our wand. So, arcane stone. Was this... And we 
need that. And there we go. We've got our arcane stone. So there is part one done. Now we need our alchemical furnace. We need to make another crucible. And we need a furnace. So let's go ahead. We're going to need this out of here. All right. There was a car driving by and it was really loud. Um, we're going to need some iron. And I don't know if I've got any left over. Um, doesn't look like it. Do I have any iron in here besides the block? No. It's all right. We just need one block. Oh, one thing while we're waiting here that I forgot to mention. I made the redstone solar panel. I went through and was going to look at making some of these things, and that thing took so many resources to make just the one and all it's giving us is let's see here um yeah 64 RF a tick so not much so that was kind of to get into some of the bigger ones is nice but that one did us absolutely no good at all And set. All right. We'll put those in there. Let us make our cauldron. There's our crucible. And I should have some cobblestone left over here. You know what? I got rid of all of the double cobblestone that I had. Oh, that should be enough. Alright, there we go. Uh, hey, wait, before, we come, before we go over here, let's get the rest of this stuff that we're going to need. That way I don't have to keep running back and forth. So we need, we're going to need some mana steel. And we are going to need a fire crystal cluster, which is fire shards, which we can get from nether brick. So I've got to smelt up some netherrack. We need four of those, so need sixteen. Oh, math, math, math. And of course, this one's not hooked up. All right, we are back. I had one of them brain fart moments. Like I said, math is not my thing today, or most any other day I'm playing. I only done enough for four, went back, and got enough to make two more. We need six. So, to get the shards, you got to have something better than a stone hammer. And that just gave us a bunch of them. I didn't realize it was going to do that. That's beautiful. So we have our shards that we need for this. There we go. I went ahead and got our iron bar that we need. So we should have everything we need in order to set this witch's oven up. So. 
Alchemical furnace. Check. We do not have any iron. Do I happen to have any in my bag? Uh, no. Not that I can do anything with. So, let's go fetch it. So, if I'm not mistaken, we should still be able to use iron. Yeah, turn into man of steel. Let's go ahead and make them all. And now, we've got our witches oven. Let's take this, we'll set it right there. Now, we're going to need to make one of these fume funnels to help catch some of our stuff. So, this is quite an expensive recipe. Hopefully, it will help us do what we need to do. And we will be able to do this. So, I've got this going over here already. We need... We might as well go ahead and make the other bucket too. So I don't use mine. We need a glowstone block and we needed one of those I do believe. And two iron blocks. I think that's everything. Alright, we got it. I got would have got the bucket back anyways. So let's look this thing up and see what we get here. I have no idea what that does. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is we need to start looking at all these different uh things we need a distillery is one thing that we're going to wait why did I do that the other thing we need is a distillery and that is no place I see Ah, there it is. So before we can do that, we've got to get these different saplings from witchery. Rowan sapling. So in order to get those, we need pull this up. We need to get some mutandus. We need to make a cauldron cauldron is we've got to make this uh, anointing paste we should have everything we need for that and another cauldron so let me get all that stuff together and then I will be right back alright we are back we're going to need another block of redstone because we're going to have to place a bit of fire underneath this thing well that went all over the place all right so I need my flint and steel which is here we need to raise this up just a little bit
All right. Place our fire down there. I will go back and fix this. I got to build platform underneath here to get it around here so we can do this. So, should be able to place our cauldron down. And there we go. We've got cauldron. Alright, so now, in order to make this mutandus, wherever it went, mandrake root we got, eggs we've got, exhale of the horned one, that's what we've got to do. I need to make some clay jars. Clay jars, pretty easy. Just clay. So let me do that, and I will be back. Alright, we've got a handful to start off with here. Let's see if we can get what we need and try this out. So, inside of our witch's oven, we need to put these here. We're going to burn some oak saplings, and I'm hoping we can burn it with coal. We can. Now, this wood ash we can use to make chalk later. We can actually use it to make bone meal. And we can make refined wood ash. Aha! We got one. So now, to make this mutandus, we need mandrake, we need egg, and we need mandrake, egg, and that. I've got some water. And we're going to need some more water than that. Still going to need some more water. I'm going to have to make a water source over here. We're going to have water sources all over this place. Alright, that's full. So we should be able to throw that in. One of those and that. And there we go. Now, the problem is, is I don't know. I don't remember if we've got to use this on a oak sapling or if we just use it on the ground and it will give us our tree. So we're going to try both. So this is something I have yet to do. The last time I used this mod, I got to making that and that, and that's as far as I went with it. And that turned it into a flower. So I'm guessing... Alright, Rowan sapling. Let's see if we can find that. It does not say. All right, I think and I remember. We're going to need a lot more of this stuff. So, let me get some more of this mutandus made up and I will be right back. All right, we're back. Now, I did not get the Rowan sapling, but I did get one of these Hawthorn saplings. And I know that they are used for something. So we're going to go ahead and break that and keep that. Hopefully I can grow one of those and we can get some more. So that is as far as I've got because we are out of saplings. 
Now the good news is with all this is I have a blue jillion saplings. I don't call it a blue jillion, but we are sitting on 600. So I got plenty of these to use. So I'm going to work on trying to get some more of the or try to get a the other two saplings and I will be back all right we are back I have all three of the saplings that we need got the Rowan sapling we've got an alder sapling and excuse me Hawthorne and an alder sapling So let's see if we can get some saplings out of this. Nice. Not very many, but we've got some. That one give us a whole lot more. And actually, I think I want to move this one over just a little bit. I don't know how big this tree grow, how big these trees grow. Now, I think every time you grow one of these, you have a chance of spawning an int, which is basically just a tree creature. So, I don't know how often that happens. So, now, we've got our rowing sapling. The next thing we need, I want to get to the point where we can make an attuned stone. And this is why we needed a rowing sapling to get a whiff of magic. So, let us stop these. We've got a ton of wood ash. We want to put, let's save three. Let's see if we can get what we need out of these four. We'll put these in here for now. Put those up. We got all kinds of stuff up in our inventory. Come on, give me just one. Oh, we got one. Sweet. So with that, we can now make an attuned stone. We need lava bucket and we need a mana diamond. That part is easy enough to do. So there is our lava bucket. There is our diamond. We've got plenty of mana. We've got our mana diamond, and now we have our first attuned stone. Beautiful. That's what all this was for. Now, with this, we can get into blood magic now, I do believe. Altar, yes. Attuned stone. Oh, we got to make these altar blocks. We will probably do that. We need some more rowan wood, which we've got plenty of that. Exhale of the horned one, which is was just burning the saplings. Breath of a goddess. Oh, Valentine's blocks. We need pink dye. We got to, I guess, use Valentine's blocks for that. That's not necessarily that hard to do. Birch saplings, we've got a couple of them. Um, with this mutandus, we can now get any of the trees and stuff that we want. So that is awesome. With that, that's all I got. I think that's where we're going to end it today. I have no idea how long this video is. Uh, it should be long enough. Hopefully it's not a short one. So, we got our first bit of witchery done. 
I'm going to spend some time off camera getting those Valentine blocks made. I am going to get plant a bunch of these saplings. Not a bunch of these. I'm going to get some more of the witchery stuff grown. Um, I'll probably set up a little farm over here. May have to make our platform just a little bit bigger. Because um, we're going to need space for our altar. So, but uh, yeah, in between episodes, I'm going to work on getting some more of the saplings. Uh, I'll work on getting some more of the um, Myth of Magic. And yeah, that's it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.